Welcome to the Art and Design and Technology Department. I'm Mrs Gates, I'm Head of the Department and I also teach Art and Fashion. Um, I'm really excited to be able to tell you a bit about our department. Um, we are a really strong department. We achieve some really good results. But I think what's probably more important for you to know is that we are really supportive and provide plenty of opportunities for you to um, progress and achieve really well in our subjects. Um, we offer a number of different subjects within the department. So I'm just going to talk you through um, those options now. The first option we offer is delivered by Mr Fino and that is food preparation and nutrition. Now whilst you might be excited to of the idea of studying food and you may have really enjoyed it at Key Stage 3, um, it is really important that you do know that if you choose to do this subject it is 50% theory and 50% um, practical work. And you can probably see in the middle with the, the breakdown of the course structure um, the practical work is broken down into two parts. One of them is an investigative um, practical task, which is quite scientific. And the other one is preparing food um, and preparing a menu. Uh, but, but both of these elements um, do require quite a bit of write-up as well. So although that's the 50% practical element, it does require quite a lot of writing up as well. Uh, so that, that's, that's really important to know about. From the theory perspective, and this covers is covered through the practical work as well, so you will do practical exercises to understand and embed the, the theory knowledge that you gain. You're going to be looking at nutrition and health, um, how you um, use technical skills uh, for preparing food within the kitchen, food safety, um, development of um, creative menu combinations, um, doing some experimental food science, um, looking at healthy and balanced diets and food provenance. Um, you need to have a bit of a flair for presentation and that, that goes for the writing up and that goes for how you present food on the plate as well. The key thing here is you're getting the ability to apply the principles of food science, nutrition and health eating in your own diet. And this is to help promote a life lifelong love of cooking as well. OK, so there are a couple of different obvious uh, food pathways um, in terms of careers. Um, one of them obviously would be a chef, but there are product design jobs, um, food technologists and critics, bakers, nutritionists, so from a sports and health angle as well. Or you may just be interested in careers in hospitality um, or the service industry. And this would be really helpful for you if those are some of the things you're pursuing. Now, there is an expectation that you do bring your ingredients every time you are asked to do that. But if you require support for that and you do qualify, then we, we can we can support you with it. But it is a really big issue within this course if you do not bring ingredients because you will just very, very quickly fall behind. OK, so that is food. I'm going to move on to 3D design. Uh, 3D design is an art curriculum subject but we are delivering this course um, with a very DT kind of slant on it so you can see on the screen that there are images um, of objects made out of wood uh, different modeling materials it's very much a modeling based course so you would get to experience some digital software which would help you produce um, laser cut pieces you would be um, developing your product products within the workshop. So this is going to be taught in the workshop as opposed to an art classroom, although there will be some artistic aspects that you will need to do. So some bits of drawing, some bits of research, as well as sampling. But the sampling is mostly going to be workshop based samples. OK, Mrs Jackson is the lead teacher on this. Uh, if you need to speak to her. Um, but from the beginning of year 10, what we do is you, you have to 
start contributing to your portfolio right from the beginning and this is worth 60% of the marks awarded for the course. Um, we are covering projects such as uh, bird boxes and flat pack lighting influenced by um, architecture um, in some cases um, and you will develop those skills and contribute to a whole portfolio over the course of the time from the beginning of year 10 up until around about Christmas in year 11. From the beginning of January in year 11, you would then um, be issued with the exam project. This is an external um, brief that you are given and you would then produce a project related to one of those briefs and then about three months later you would sit some control time in the classroom where you produce a piece to go with that project work and that is worth 40 percent in total okay there are some some obvious careers that link to this course so architecture furniture design product innovation um, set design um, but some students who choose this course are really interested in trades based work so engineering joinery, electricians, construction as well. OK, so the next course, this is probably the widest course that we offer. Um, it is art, craft and design. So during your experiences in year seven, eight and nine, you would have covered working with lots of different types of media. And this course is the widest in that sense. So if you like working lots of different ways, um, or you like painting and drawing, this is probably the choice for you uh, because this is more 2D work, although sometimes you may want to produce some work in 3D as well. So you can see from the screen there's painted work, drawing work, ink, using pastels, using textiles. So th there is no uh, limit to the kinds of media that you can use. Um, and what we try to do uh, right from the offset in year 10 is give you plenty of opportunity to experiment with lots of things so you find out what it is that you want to do and want to pursue in your work. OK, so we start with an abstract project. Now, this could be abstract portraiture, nature based. It could be architecture based in year 10. And then as the course progresses, we will give you the opportunity to then work on more personal based project work, which we will discuss with you. Again, you would complete work from year 10 all the way up to Christmas in year 11. And then from January in year 11, you, you then pursue the examined element, which is worth 40% and produce a final piece in a controlled conditions like an exam. Um, obvious co career options using art and design skills, things like digital work, like animation, um, web design, games design. Um, you could be interested in architecture or art cre creation, which is uh, working in a gallery and building exhibitions. Um, you may be interested in illustration or pattern design or graphic design or photography or makeup design. So that there is lots of different options in which you could, could pursue um, an art kind of a career. OK, so the final option that we offer is fashion. Uh, fashion is an art course as well, um, but you are producing um, artwork which includes some form of textile approach in it. So you're working with materials, you're working with threads, you're working with fabrics, textile techniques. So it's textile heavy, although there is an element of drawing and painting. Uh, but don't panic about that if you, you don't feel you're confident with that. We've got lots of ways to to help you produce and communicate some good ideas if you're not comfortable or really, really strong at that at this moment in time. OK, we tend to do a fashion based project initially, so a garment of some kind, and then may move on to an art textiles piece. So that could be a portrait, for example, using textile materials, so it's not necessarily painted. Again, the course um, is 60-40 split, so 60% is a portfolio from year 10 to Christmas at year 11, and then in January of year 11, it's the examined 
piece where you then have some time to produce an outcome in an exam conditions. OK, so obvious uh, roles from textiles could be fashion design, interior design. You could be, want to become a stylist, a buyer, a textile designer, an illustrator. Um, there are lots of different options here. Now, what I do want to mention is that we have some really good links with MMU and we are invited very often to um, offer places for art clubs and fashion Saturday clubs. We have students currently studying on those at the moment. We are recently involved in um, a human rights photo project, which will be a national comp um, exhibition and competition. And some students work will be selected to be um, exhibited at home in Manchester. Um, OK, so if you're interested and you want to speak to us, here's how to get in touch. So you can email me if you want to a.gates at stmonikers.co.uk. You could speak to any of the department staff, as you can see, they're listed there. Anybody should be able to help you and if they can't, I'm sure they'll direct you to me. Um, you might want to go to our area of the website. We've got a really great document there about jobs in art and that um, gets rid of the taboo about art subjects, maybe not taking new places in the future. There are some amazing careers that you can have in our art or creative fields. Um, you can also view our online exhibition of Lever's work from 2020 on the website. Um, a really fantastic exhibition and this is something we do every single year as well and finally you might want to follow our department on instagram so it's at monikers underscore art underscore design and uh, we're posting things on there pretty much every day so it's a really good place to get a feel for the kind of things that we are asking students to do okay and thank you for listening and please take care